كلمتان حبيبتان إلا الرحمن خفيفتان على اللسان ثقيلتان أبدي قاسك وذكر الله رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم سيد ما عمل ابن آدم عملا أنجا له من عذاب الله من ذكر الله Ibn Adam has not done any deed which can be more protective from the punishment of Allah than Zikrullah. And in the hadith it comes that when a person dies and he's put inside his grave, his salat comes on his right, his fasting comes on his left, and the feet and the, the steps he took for going to salat to the masjid come at his feet and his dhikrullah and tilawat come near his head and when the azab comes inside the grave if it comes from the right the salat sends it away from the left song sends it away from the feet then the what he came to masjid walking that steps take send him away and if it comes from the head side then dhikrullah and tilawat of quran send it away and sabr waits in one corner saying that if there was any deficiency in any area, I would have helped. But Alhamdulillah, you have sent the Azabi Qabr away, so I will help you now at the time of Mizan, and the A'mal are weighed and on the scale. So we can see the importance and the value of Zikrullah. Hadrat Shaykh Rahmatullahi Ali, Shaykh Al-Hadith Murana Muhammad Zakariya Rahmatullahi he used to have zikr halqa and towards the end of his life when Hazrat was very weak, frail and he couldn't teach and he was busy in this line of zikr shagal and tasawwuf. Our Hazrat Mawlana Yusuf Mutala Sahib says that sometimes Shaykh would say to his brother Mawlana Abdul Rahim Sahib who used to be with him, very close to him, that Abdul Rahim Lohartha, there was a blacksmith. So he spent his whole life working in his workshop, hitting that metal, tuck, 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 tuck. So when he got old, he said, I feel like getting a few mustandas, strong men, and telling them to work here in my workshop, beating that metal up, tuck, 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 and I would be lying down on a place and listening to that noise and enjoying that noise. Because he spent his whole life in that tuck, 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 tuck. So then Hazrat Shaykh said that, Abdul Rahim, I also feel the same, that I am worth nothing, of nothing. A few people could gather here and say, Allah, 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 and I will be enjoying that Allah, Allah, Allah. Hazrat Shaykh used to have that majlis of zikr. And uh, when he was busy, he had to go to teach as well. So after Fajr, he would come, there would be the Masjid of Zikr. And then uh, the Mehmans and guests would come. They would have breakfast, Nashta, and then they would go. Uh, those who have come, the new Mehmans, they handshake. The those who are farewelling, uh, they say handshake, say salam to Hazrat. But there were some Zakirin whose Zikr would continue even in spite of this. One of them was Hafiz Siddiq Sahib. He would be sitting in one corner on that Chabutra of Hazrat. And over here on this side, everything is going on. But Hafiz Sahib is busy in his zikr. After Fajr till about nine, half nine, he's busy. Allah, 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 Allah. Somebody coming, going, Allah, 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 Allah. And he would be doing all his tasbih, Allah, 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 Allah. Hazrat would finish, he would go upstairs in Darul Tasneem, start writing. Hafsa is still down, he's going, Allah, 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 his zikr is continuing. Then, when Hafsa would be satisfied, he would get up and he would go to the Kutub Khana bookshop of Hazrat, because he used to work there, book, open the bookshop, and then start packing and everything. But even there, he would have his tasbih in his hand, while he would be working, Allah, 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 Allah. If someone came, Ji, aap kya farma rahe hai? Allah, 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 Allah. Ji, aap kya kya rahe hai? Allah, 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 Allah. And his Allah, Allah is continuing. Mawlana Abdul Rahim sahab asked him, Hafiz Ji, 
روزانہ کتنا اللہ اللہ کرتی ہو بتانا پڑے گا ہاں بتانا پڑے گا الحمد للہ روزانہ ہنڈریڈ اینڈ ٹوینٹی فائیو تھاؤزینڈ ہو جاتا ہے ایوری ڈے ہنڈریڈ اینڈ ٹوینٹی فائیو تھاؤزینڈ ٹائم اللہ 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 سو اللہ میڈ دم ریز میڈ دم ہیز دے آر آن اللہ فیملی آف اللہ دوز کلوزلی اٹیچ ٹو اللہ سبحان وی اللہ پاک آلسو گیو از توفی ٹو ریپیٹ ہیز نیم ایز آفٹن ایز پاسبل ہیز نیم ہیز نور برکت رحمت بلیسنگ حضرت مولانا رشید احمد گنگوئی سیز اللہ کا نام کتنی غفلت سے کیوں نہ لیا جائے دل پر اثر کیے بغیر نہیں رہتا نو مارٹ اپ ہاؤ مچ نیگلیجنس You take Allah's name, but Allah's name definitely has an effect on the heart. Even if your mind is not there, you're not even thinking about it. But Allah's name will have an effect on your heart. In fact, Allah says, Allah bi zikrillahi tatma'innul quloob. With Allah's name, Allah's zikr, you can get peace and tranquility of heart, peace of mind. You can't get peace of mind through listening to songs, movies and all this. You will get a bit of buzz out of it. feel good for a while but it will be temporary permanent peace sukoon serenity tranquility can only be achieved through obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there was this research by some scientist in Holland he said if you repeat the word Allah 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 it can give you real peace of mind he said the reason for that is he's not Muslim he's research he said there are two L's in there And every time you pronounce L, your tongue touches the upper part of your jaw. And it gets some moisturizer there, and that moisturizer goes up to the brain, and it gives you sukoon and peace. Allah, 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 Allah. Every time you repeat it, and your tongue touches the upper, upper part of your jaw, and it goes in the brain, the brain gets solace and sukoon and peace. Now Allah Pak said this 1400 years ago, Allah bi zikrillahi tatmainul quloob. And now the research is being made that yes, you can get peace of mind through zikrullah. So we should perform zikrullah, do zikrullah as much as possible. May Allah Pak give us tawfeeq to do so. Haram karein, so jayin thoni dheri ke liye. Allah ka bulfa. Subhanallah, bihamdi, subhanakallah, wa rahmatullahi 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 wa rahmatullah